People, purpose and passion. My best memory from London to 2012 was obviously firstly the crowds. I don't think any Team GB athlete kind of anticipated the support we were going to get, but as soon as you walked into an arena, the cheers, the crowd, the clapping, everything was just so overwhelming. It was hard to think it was ever going to live up to the expectations that had been put upon it, but it delivered. Well, at London 2012 was my third Paralympic Games and it was by far the best Games I've been to. In my journeys in the lead up to the Games, the excitement of National Olympic Committees, National Paralympic Committees from around the world, uh, the prospect of coming to London was palpable. We really showed the whole world that we can put on an amazing event. There's so many people were talking about the opening ceremonies, the venues, the competitions themselves. Volunteers, the amount of people that were happy just to give up their time and to be part of this fantastic experience. It showed the, not just the imagination and the, the people that, that we've got, but also it showed the qualities that we've got. British businesses have been seen to successfully deliver successful parts of a very successful game. The whole of the UK became happy for those few weeks over the Olympics and the Paralympics and we really became united and I think that really reflected on the rest of the world. The whole thing coming together, I mean, uh, the catch line throughout the, the games was best of British and, and it was the right one. So to see so many Olympians, Paralympians doing so well, um, it has inspired a generation of people to think, do you know what, they can do it, so can I. The Paralympic Games also fundamentally challenged some of the misconceptions that there are about disability. The Paralympics really showed what you can do and not what you can't do. Now I think that message is key for everyone, not just the disabled community. The potential that we can still unlock off the back of the games will change the lives of many, many young people as it already has in the lead up to the games and the immediate year afterwards. I'm having the honour of going to share my story with the public and with young children, young adults, that are right at the beginning of, am I going to enjoy sport? What sports are out there for me? And helping them maybe find a little bit of motivation. I can see the legacy. We set a challenge uh, of getting over 12 million young people actively involved in high quality physical education and sport in 20 countries by 2012. Actually by 2011 we got 13 million and we got them in 22 countries. Uh, and that was a very good way of connecting our legacy ambitions and some of our domestic challenges with the international community. And of course, who's ever going to forget the Queen jumping out of a helicopter? <laughs>